Welcome into the Deep Slant 101 presented by Xfinity. My guest, John Grenard. John, I haven't talked to you since the end of last season, but we've heard from you a little bit this off season and so much has changed, obviously, with you heading into year two. So new coaching staff, um, a new position, new everything. So let's let's just start there. Let's start with um, everything being so new because you talked about it a little bit um, in your press conference last year versus this year. What were you doing this time last year um, now that OTAs are wrapped up uh, and, and uh, how do you compare it to what you're doing now? Man, it's crazy. Um, this is what, June 7th, June 8th? Yeah, June 7th, June 8th, I was still trying to figure out where I could work out at, honestly. Uh, you know, as you know, COVID just changed everything. So we kind of had to just go with the flow and, and, and do what it was allowed for us. So um, I was still trying to find my ways to work. But overall now, I just feel a huge difference just now having a chance to work out all the way from January now. Um, my body feels more comfortable, I feel stronger, feel faster, just feel more better, overall flexible, just feel better as an athlete. Um, and as a person mentally as well. So um, everything just worked out now and everything's kind of slowly going back to normal. So now I can get back into my regular routine of having my certain amount of workout, certain amount of meals per day, um, getting training work done on me, stuff like that. So all of that just helps and uh, makes it be ready for when that time comes in, uh, in, in late July. Yeah, you get to do OTAs out there in the Houston humidity and the Houston heat with your off season <laughs> program in. Um, right. What about meeting Lovey Smith? Because now you've actually got to work with him. You've got to work with the new coaching staff a little bit. Um, your right. impressions of him and and what it's been like for you switching to new position at defensive lineman. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, like I said, love is well respected around the game of football, um, not just in the NFL, but everywhere. So um, he has been an honor. I watched him growing up as a child. So now they're able to play in this, this scheme. And, and I know what they've been about even back in that historic defense in Chicago. Um, they've been known for turnovers. So now we just got to get to that point. I think that's the huge emphasis now on our defense, you know, just change your mindset and not only win the play, but get the ball back. I mean, that's, that's huge. We can change it. We can change a lot with on our side of the football by just making a turnover, giving that ball back to, to our offense. So um, overall, I'm excited. Like I said, it's a huge honor. Uh, I'm looking forward to learning a lot more, getting deeper in the playbook and understanding how he thinks want to break his mind down and see how he thinks about football um, to help me. So overall, I'm excited. I, I, I love it. Well, you had said that one thing that you wanted to work on this offseason was your flexibility, literally right. being flexible and then also position wise. And and I thought it was interesting because Levy talked about guys that had to make a position change. He said football players are adaptable. They have to adapt. They have to be flexible. And right. he said that for a lot of players, making that change sometimes actually benefits their skill set. And, and you were one of the guys that he mentioned by name that that your skill set is really is, is pretty perfect for the defensive end in, in his four three system. So. What are your thoughts on that? What makes you fit so well in a system? I know you've played defensive end in the past. This isn't like a right. new position for you, but but what do you think it is about about your skill set that really lends itself to this position? Uh, pretty much, like I said, I just I just kind of work around what I what I feel good at, what my body feels like it can do um, to put myself in the best situation. Obviously, I got to get a lot stronger, got to get faster always. So it's always room for improvement. Um, but overall, like I said, this defensive end is it's not too much of a difference. Obviously, just to um, to change it up a little bit is going from that uh, three, four scheme where I'm playing most time on tight ends and I'm dropping the coverage most times. It's not, the, it's not the, uh, the case here. Now I'm playing a true defensive end. Now I have to go play on their side of the football, set the edge, you know, go make a play in the back, forget a TFL, go get a sack, get quarterback. These things I'm more comfortable. I love to just go after the quarterback, but um, overall, like I said, I just, I'm excited to get, get started. I mean, getting deeper in this playbook and we got a lot of competition out here coming for camp. So I'm excited. I'm yeah. Really you'll excited. be going up against a lot of offensive linemen. So does that mean that at your position, you have to put on weight or will you be playing a little bit lighter? Is that something that um, that you have to, right. to think about? That's the things, uh, it kind of just going based off of what your body is. I mean, I'm naturally me, I'm already about a 270-ish already. Um, I can be at 265, I can drop weight, I can gain weight. That's kind of a thing I've been able to do all my life with uh, just my weight. Um, but overall, yeah, you're right. I'll be playing more down, uh, hand in the dirt, playing against the, the, the top tackles and things like that. Um, but at the end of the day, it's still football. And in and, and the scheme that we played last year, um, obviously in the 3-4 scheme period overall, um, it's a little different. However, it's football and you're still on the line of scrimmage. And, and most guys will kind of tell you coming from a 3-4 outside backer to the end, it's, it's everything because now you have less coverage responsibility. You really just got to just go and make a play and, and play on the run. Um, obviously, you have, they can switch it up a little bit for scheme to scheme. But overall, now you're a true defensive end and go do what you, you do what you're normally naturally to do. Do you think it makes it easier that you made the switch earlier in your career rather than playing a linebacker for a number of years and then making the switch? Do you think that makes it any easier? Because it really wasn't that long ago that you were playing defensive linemen. Right. Yeah. It, it's it's kind of like I said, it, it's cool. Um, however, I, I kind of adjust, as you see. I mean, I, I really just 
you tell me the scheme, you tell me the play, and I, I can go with it from there. So at this point, I just honestly just want to be able to to be comfortable, uh, just play my own play my own scheme within the system, obviously, but uh, just be comfortable. And then I think playing defensive end all my life that, that kind of has made it to where I can I, I'm back in my natural uh, my natural habitat, you could say. All right. So a lot of things changed in the offseason. One thing that didn't change your position coach is still Bobby King. So he moves right. from linebackers coach to defensive line coach. He seems really excited about it. But how much right. has that helped your continuity? He sort of knows what you can do, knows what you do well, knows what, right. where you need to learn and, and where to fill in the gaps of, of your skill set. Yeah, BK is a, I mean, like I said, BK is huge on details. I mean, he's he's very passionate about, he loves the game of football. You can see that from miles away just watching him coach us up. Um, he wants us to be the best type of, not just the best player, but the best person, best human being. And I think that kind of translates in the game just as far as your passion towards anything. I and mean, if you're going to do something, do it, give you all. And I think that's what he preaches us on everything. So, um, yeah, me and BK, we go way back. That's 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 a, that's a good guy. Um, actually, his his cousin was actually our punter at Louisville. So we, we kind of, we got a lot of history. So me and his family are really good. So BK is a good guy. Well, he he had a lot of nice things to say about you as yeah. well. He he said he's expecting a good season, a really good season from you, that you're a no-nonsense kind of a guy. Uh, you're not a follower. You're a leader. And he said, quote, he's going to use his hands. He's going to shock you. He's going to play tough, play violent. So is For that sure. how you would describe your style of play? Hey, man, I, I let the tape do the talk. I can't really do too much right now. But, uh, bef- yeah, that's that's kind of like what I want to lead into. I mean, that's, that's the identity you kind of want being in this scheme. Uh, so, yeah. He gave me that title. I'll take it. So we just got to put it on the film now for sure. I'm ready. All right. So w- when you look back at your rookie season, what was your mm-hmm. biggest takeaway? What was the biggest lesson you learned? Cause now you've got some games under your belt. You're heading into year right. two. You've got a little bit of experience. What's the right. biggest lesson you take from that? I just got to take everything in stride. Um, it, it, things happen. Everything has y'all see every, things happen. And there's some things you can't control it. Uh, you just have to go with it and, and, and adjust on the fly. Um, another thing is just to continue to work, do the same things that you've been doing the whole time and let that, let that result speak for itself. Don't, you don't have to put any expectations on anything. Just go with it. I mean, you obviously have your goal and your mission, but overall you just got to go out there and play it and, and keep living. Cause I mean, the things that you can't control are always going to happen. So you just got to just take it on the fly and keep going. So that's what I learned the most. All right. You don't have to look for a gym, but you do have uh, about six weeks or so off before the start of training camp. Um, mm-hmm. I know you said you're not going to take it too easy. You're going to take a little bit of time off, but what are your plans um, to stay in shape for training camp, to get ready for training camp? How do you uh, plan to use these next few weeks? Yeah, uh, like I said, just getting back to the workout regimen, um, getting my routine every day. Uh, like I said, take a little time off, give your body a break a little bit, but it's, it's got to get back onto it. Of course, I want to be in Houston as much as possible. I'm um, going to get used to this humidity, this heat. Um, having that year up under my belt definitely helped. Having that year in Canesville kind of helped, but at the end of the day, it's still... You kind of never get used to it, but overall, you you understand how to how to cope with it and put that to the side. It's all mental. So um, overall, I'm, I'm still going to try to keep my regimen as, as, as routine as possible. So is it worse than Florida humidity, the Houston humidity? Oh, that's tough. I don't know. Gainesville humidity is different. You know, we're surrounded by that swamp. It's, it's yeah. That's honestly where all that heat is coming from. So I can honestly truly say the humidity and heat wise over there is definitely, I'm not going to say definitely way hotter, but it's definitely hotter over there. Yeah, you. I think you had some good training, but you're about yeah. to get some more in a few months. Oh, it's been. Oh, it, just tune in. We're gonna be all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Always a pleasure, John. Can't wait to see what 2021 brings for you. Thanks so much. Thank you so much for having me. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to know when we post new content.